Hello, I'm Orlando Pita, and we're here with Larissa today because I want to show you one, how one of my favorite products works. It's called the Hamadi Shea Leave-In, and it's really good for hair like Larissa's that has a natural wave in it, but um, sometimes through processing and hair color, the wave kind of comes out, and you have these pieces that are frizzy, and the wave doesn't really come back in, or, or the curl. It's a favorite of mine to use on myself as well for, for my curls. And you can use it uh, one of three different ways. You can use it on dry hair like Larissa has now. And I just put just a little bit in my hands. And the, the way I like to touch wavy hair is I don't want to ever put my fingers in it because it starts to get more spread out and kind of more frizzy. So I, I start taking big chunks and I put it all on the outline of the hair and I always like to use a little bit because you can always just keep reusing and sometimes you even take certain pieces and you put it randomly on certain chunks of hair once we start putting the the product in if you feel like you want to bring back some of your curls sometimes just wetting it with a little bit of water makes the curl come back. Another way that I like to use it is when you are wet from a shower. Now let's say that Larissa just came out of the shower, I'm going to wet it more. Again, when you, have, when you have curly or wavy hair, I think you do all your combing in the shower. I like to use the Mason Pearson comb. Once you're out of the shower, I don't like to comb the hair again because it starts to get a little fluffy and the frizz starts to come back, especially if you're in very humid climates. So let's say her hair is wet from the shower and again, just a little amount. I like to always keep it in, in, um, in the front part of my palms and then I start working it like I told you before, first along the hairline because uh, along the hairline, you usually have little hairs that need to be tamed more than the others. Again, you know, I just pick up random chunks of hair and make sure you really spread it out all throughout. So now we have Larissa again. Her hair is dried and now I want to fluff it up. And I want to show you just a few little ways that I like to fluff hair up that's curly. So again, to always to maintain the frizz. So if you just bring your head over a little bit, okay. yes. And so once you have your head over, I like to just kind of whack at it <laughs> or karate chop, whatever you want. And that brings volume and fluffs your hair up without getting it frizzy. So now as you see, her curl is back. She's got all her volume. And we got rid of all that frizz. And now it's more of a uniform wave and then there's even a little bit of her glamour wave came in the front. What do you think, Larissa? Um, I think it looks a lot better. There's a lot more definition, a lot less frizz, which I think makes it look a lot better. Great. That's a great way to use Hamadi. I love it for curly hair. But then I also love it on men. I love it on um, short haircuts, haircuts that are spiky and you want to make the front stick up a little bit. There's not a whole lot of hold, but you do get a little texture in it. And then also for that kind of day-old hair. Some people that have thick hair, they like it to look a little bit undone and a little ruffled. And so that's a, a good product for that as well.